All right, so today we're gonna try some fake vegan meats. All right, so I went to Walmart and I was like, you know what, let me try some fake vegan meat for these folks. So I saw this, I've legit never seen this before, not even on a freaking YouTube video. It's called Neat. Um, it says it's served in place of ground beef for burgers, chili, sloppy joes, and more. This package uh, is equivalent to one pound of ground beef. So that's what that looks like. And they had different flavors, but I just went ahead and went with the original just so I can get an idea of how it tastes. So for one serving, you do one third cup of meat plus two tablespoons of water. You mix it together, then you cook it, plus you crumble it up and it'll be ready in nine minutes. So that's that. And then the next thing I've legit never seen this either is called Tuno, the lemon pepper kind. Um, it says plant-based protein since 80, 1890. The brand is Loma Linda, Loma Linda, Loma Linda. It says mix as you would any tuna salad or add to any recipe calling for tuna. All right, so we're gonna give these both a try, but I really want some freaking tacos, so I'm about to shred. I'm about to start this, and then while that's going, I'm gonna shred up some onions and some lettuce and get my tortillas ready, maybe make some vegan cheese, and I got some vegan cream cheese as well in case I just don't feel like making vegan cheese, but we're gonna try this. All right, y'all. It doesn't really too much have a smell to it. So it says to basically just put it in a skillet with some oil and then as it starts to brown up, um, chop it into crumbles and let it cook for about nine minutes. You can also make it into burgers and then mold it into balls as well. I do want to add some onions and some taco seasoning, but I'm going to taste it without any type of seasoning and just see how it is first, just so you all can get like a more um, idea of how it actually just tastes on its own. But this is what we're working with so far. You can see like the flax egg in there. Let's see. Don't be uh, hating on my ratchet skillet wear. I'm like wondering should I like kind of flatten it out so it can get more brown. Right, let me get it some time. That, get that oil, you know, that oil make it taste good, y'all. All right, so I turned the heat up and moved it around a little bit, and it's kind of sticking to my pan because it's like, you know, a janky non-stick pan. I'm sorry, y'all, my tri tripod's acting weird, so, or I lost a piece to my tripod. But anyways, um, I'm just crumbling it up, trying to make it more, oops more crumbly and I'm making some vegan cheese I'm probably gonna freaking burn it but yeah let me work on this some more y'all and I'll show you how to finish product okay so this is what we're looking like it's like looking mad dry it looks like a flax egg that you cooked but I'm gonna taste it it still doesn't really so let me smell it still doesn't really have a smell I can taste the flax, but it's not horrible. But it doesn't have any seasoning to it. I mean, just imagine eating beef without any type of seasoning. So I'm actually gonna take this out of the pan, saute some onions, and then put in my taco seasoning and stuff and like rehydrate it with some taco seasoning. Okay, so I know this burrito looks a little sad. The baby started crying, so I couldn't make it like look cute or whatever, but here's the meat. Um, when I put the taco seasoning in it, I did, did add in some more um, water to it, you know, cause, like to get it like juicy like, you know what I'm saying? You're not gonna show your face? Anywho, I tried to do that to give it some more juiciness to it, but then I realized like, oh wait, when I added the water to it, it went back to kind of how it was before I even sauteed it. So it came, became like a little bit more gummy. But had I not added some more moisture to it, it would have been super like, ugh. You know, it didn't have no flavor to it. So the next time I make it, I'm gonna add the seasoning 
before I add um bef before I get done cooking it I'm gonna add the seasoning but like I said this time I just wanted to taste it without anything in it and now that it has the taco seasoning it does taste a lot better it kind of reminds me of falafel it kind of reminds me of a falafel like the texture of it like if you added in like some um like coriander or, or some cumin and like some parsley and cilantro like shredded up it would be like really good freaking falafel but as far as it tasting like beef no it doesn't have like that texture as beef it's a little mushy but like i said i had to rehydrate it but if i didn't it would have been super dry y'all but i think it's okay um it wasn't too expensive i'm gonna find that receipt and tell you all how much it costs but let's give it a taste okay all right y'all i told you my my setup a little off right now but we gonna make it work so just by itself it's okay it got cold but let me eat it as a taco y'all this is gonna be funny because can i put you down for a second this from Trader Joe's you need to add some more salsa I think it's good but you gotta season it up but once I had a chance to actually go back and taste my burrito without like having the baby like screaming at me it was really good so I don't know if it was the meat or the the neat meat or just the sauce and the salsa and the everything together that made it taste good but it was good like but that's like how taco is anyway. Like you wouldn't just eat the taco meat. Like you would add everything else to it to give it that good flavor. Go check it out, you all. Let me know, would you try dried meat substitute from a bag? <laughs> would you try it? Are you gonna try it? But definitely freaking season this stuff. But they do have different flavors. So you might wanna try that. All right, you all. So I'm going to try this Loma Tuno that I got from Walmart. Um, let me clean off the top of my can, you know, because you never know what's happening on top of these cans. Why does it look like this? Looks like cat food. I don't know if I want to eat this, y'all. Mm. I'm doing this for y'all. Remember, remember who showed y'all how this tastes? I did. Stay forever true. It, it smells like lemon. It smells like a little spice, like a little salt, I mean pepper. It looks like really medicine. It kind of does have a texture of tuna. It's kind of like got like a little, like kind of sponginess to it. It's oily as heck, super oily. The flavor is good though. Should I see if she's gonna eat it? I don't know if she's gonna eat it. I think it's, it's a little oil. Let me see how much oil is in here. So that they're top when you open it, like everything is backwards. I mean, I, it's showing right ways for y'all. Well, it's backwards. Like everything's backwards, so it's kind of hard to look and tell what's all in here. So it has. Um, textured soy protein, water, soybean oil, sugar, lemon juice, salt, black pepper, stop Madison, seaweed, xanthan gum, and natural lemon flavor. I guess it's okay. It's, it's, it tastes okay. I'm not even gonna lie. It just a little too oily. I don't know if y'all can tell. But. You can kind of see the oil in there. I don't know if y'all can really see it, but see it's like glistening. It's not horrible. It might be good like in pasta. Like a pasta with some like fresh lemon juice and like some asparagus or something like that chopped up in the pasta, like a penne pasta. I made myself a salad and I know baby, here I come. I was gonna add some of it to the salad, but I don't know. I don't know how I'm feeling about it. Let me know, are you all gonna try these 
faux meats. If you have tried them already, let me know in the comment section what you think about them. I think with the bag meat, um, I'd rather just buy some frozen like, I know baby, some frozen, what are those, the beef crumbles, that like the garden beef crumbles, I'd rather buy those. Um, but I think it might not be bad to keep something like that in your like cupboard for days. I don't know. If you run out of food, I don't freaking know. It was okay. The tuna was okay. It's different. It's something different. Um, I don't know if you want to try them again. Let me know if you all know of any other like meatless brand foods that you all want to try. Um, thanks for watching. You want to try it? Let's see if she's going to eat it, y'all. Kind of oily. I don't like giving her too oily, too much oily stuff. You like it? You like it? Look like she's looking for some more. 